What's going on guys, Jail King 20. If you guys watch my Twitch, you guys know that it's a little run on joke, Jail King 20. Anyways, we got another reaction video. The last one did pretty well. I got like two vlogs I need to edit and I haven't even started them yet. So I was like, let me dip my cute little toes into a pool um, and you know, make another reaction video so I can get motivation, you know? Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Like and comment down below if you guys like these reaction videos from me or I can just go. Oh. All right, enjoy the video. Reporting in a call town located while in running from, from the their police. jurisdiction, 37-year-old Aaron Trumbull was allegedly involved in a assault case, and the Wisconsin Department of Corrections was set to issue an arrest warrant for him. The Eau Claire Police Department pinged Aaron's phone, revealing his location in the La Crosse area. Following this, a deputy monitored highway traffic in Genoa, Wisconsin. Let me say one more time: 55,000 population in La Crosse, Wisconsin or 2.26 million people to be entertained. Thank you, LaCrosse. In a potential route taken by Aaron. According to reports, it was indicated he was also traveling to Illinois to harm some family members. After a short period of time, Great. the deputy observed a silver vehicle that matched the given description. As it passed by, he recognized the driver as Aaron and proceeded to follow it. that plate Adam Mary Victor 6587 we're still going eastbound coming up on Monsac 19 to 17 RO comes back out of Eau Claire I'm pretty sure this is our guy I see that I'm uh, not going your way 10 4 I'm not going to initiate anything until you guys get here <coughs> what's going up with 14 Vernon we're on 56 passing Patterson Lane right now Speed. Eventually, the deputy initiated a traffic stop. However, Aaron rapidly accelerated and fled at a high rate. 19 Vernon, I'm gonna try to initiate a stop here. County and Nora by the church before we get too far. This is West Prairie area. <laughs> <laughs> Passing Norwegian Hollow. Speed. Dispatch soon advised that they were on the phone with Aaron. Apparently, he had called 911 and stated, This is going to sound weird, but I'm being chased by the cops. I want to stop, but I'm afraid they will shoot me. Be advised, he's going to be stopping him. We have the suspect on the phone. He wants to stop. Be advised. 19, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. You said he's going to stop. We're on the phone with him. I mean, he is scared. He wants to stop, but doesn't want any harm done to him. Just information for you on that. And I didn't right now, it sounds like okay, the that's all right. Paranoid, yeah. Spoke over the PA but system, he, encouraging Aaron to I feel like it's over. gonna pull some weird shit. What's it? What was Aaron, the title again? Pull the vehicle over. You'll be fine. What pull happened? the vehicle over. Let us pull over. Thirty-five right in front of Bruno. I'm not gonna hurt you, man. But don't hurt. I, I'm not gonna shoot you, okay? All right. I just want you to keep your hands up. I got you. Okay. Is the vehicle turned off? Yep, the keys are right there. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to reach out with your right hand, undo your door. Open it from the outside. There you go. That's all right. That's fine. With one hand, reach down, take your seatbelt off. Okay. Step out of the vehicle and face back towards the vehicle. All right, what I want you to do is take two steps back towards me. Not bad. Keep coming. Having a, uh, Keep coming. Cancer right, stick. Stop. I want you to go arrested. down on your one knee. Doesn't matter which one. Down on the other one. Cross your legs, one ankle over the other. I want you to bring your hands on top of your head. Interlace the fingers. Do not move, okay, Aaron? I'm not going to shoot you, man. Bring your hands back. Where's your shoes at? You're driving barefoot. Dangerous. You have any weapons in on park. I'm not gonna make you stay on that black, so go ahead and stand back up for me. Could, uh, yeah, take off the, the what is it? The plating, the grip. You you take it off, and then it'll just be metal and cut your feet. Or like a base to a vape, and I think that's it. Right, you might slip your feet into your thing, so you're not on that. Huh? We're all okay. Subject is in custody. I'm gonna let Sorry. you finish that first. You're fine, man. Does anybody can get a drink. Have a soda in my car. Well, we'll work with that here in a little bit. Any other weapons or anything in there? Here? That I'm aware of. Uh, actually. There is some ammunition in the passenger door from okay. the guy that I bought it from. But you don't have any guns in there or anything? Meg 
magnet. Oh. Right? You know the word. Yep, let me, um, what kind of soda do you drink? Do you like Diet Dew? I got the hair on high, man. You good? Yeah. All right. I just thought where, where am I going? Are you all taking me back to Eau Claire? Or what? So, you're going back to Viroqua right now because this is Vernon County. Okay. So, you're going to be going back to Viroqua for now, and then Eau Claire is going to make arrangements to do whatever they got to do to talk with you. Okay. Okay, man? But, like, so I'm being charged and staying here, or how does that work? It'll be whenever they come down to get you. You're going to have some charges here, obviously, oh, for right. running from us, but... Right. I just didn't know if they would keep me here for that. Yeah, I don't know what they'll do. Or... You'll see the judge tomorrow on our stuff anyway right away, so right. then it'll be up there for them. My oh, uh, go ahead and grab his wallet. I get it, man. I feel naked without my wallet, so I... It is freaking warm! 10-4, I'll be transporting here. <laughs> and I'll tell you straight up, dude, one thing I've learned in my years, and there's a lot of people, you know, that I've arrested multiple times here, locals, they all know that I will cut them straight. I'm not going to make up some bullshit. I'm not going to lure them into something. I'm going to tell you, you know what, man, you f***ed up. We got to go deal with dude. it. I've had a lot more respect from that. Officer Zerk is Honestly, at a, I'm charging at you. Zirk? Now, my DA can Z -Z -Z -R -R -K. a little loud, but it's better now, lol. Uh, oh. One was for operating without a license. One is for no insurance on the vehicle. And the other one is the passing and a no passing when you pass that semi. That was, that, that's the only one that really scared me. Beyond that, I, I'm not worrying about anything else traffic related. And I'm charging right. with fleeing, which is a felony Skip fleeing. Through a and that's bit. it. It's not me. All right. Appreciate you. I'm going to get you through this and... If you want that, you can have it, man. They're gonna search you here real quick, patch you down. Cross your arms to uh, 360. Aaron, good luck to you, man. Thanks, All right, man. Appreciate, appreciate you being solid. Music. All right. As a result of this 20-mile pursuit and the other case involving Aaron, he was charged with felony counts of kidnapping, first-degree sexual assault times seven, intimidation of a victim times three, physical abuse of a child intentionally causing bodily harm, false imprisonment times two, strangulation and suffocation times three, oh. causing mental harm to a child, oh. vehicle fleeing eluding an officer, and two counts of misdemeanor battery. Every so there's like a, you know, you think, oh, why is the cop being so nice to him? You know, it's like, it's good that he wasn't harmed, I guess. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at all that. He's going to get fucking kicked, his ass kicked in prison if he goes to prison. Every single charge was a repeater. And he was later released on a $500,000 signature bond. As of October 2023, he pleaded no contest to one count of first degree sexual assault, physical abuse of a child, strangulation and suffocation, and causing mental harm to a child. The 17 remaining charges were dismissed but read in. Regarding the other case he was wanted for, it occurred in July 2022. His girlfriend told police she had previously allowed Aaron to stay, sleeping on the couch, but kicked him out after she became uncomfortable with his presence. He then returned to her apartment, held a knife to her neck, and raped her. She mentioned that he kept her and her two young children hostage for the following five days. During that time, all right, take back everything I just said. Uh, the officer should have kicked his fucking ass. She claimed he beat raped, and threatened to kill her and the children numerous times. And at one point, she made an effort to leave with her kids, but Aaron caught her on the porch and pulled her back inside. Oh. However, there's more to the story. Oh. During the encounters with his girlfriend, he was on probation having previously pleaded guilty to felony reckless endangerment for driving a car into a building and fleeing. Ironically, he was already out on bond for domestic abuse charges during that period, which he was later found guilty on. And while we're at it, he was convicted of additional oh domestic my God. abuse charges, stemming from a 2018 case that included disorderly conduct and intimidation of a victim. Ultimately, his sentencing is scheduled for January 5th 2024. Okay, let me go. Let me go back to what I was saying. The cop is glad that he didn't cause someone to hurt themselves, because then I'd be on a burden on him. Like it was making the cop feel better, treating that guy well. Yeah, this guy's a fuck piece of shit. Fuck that guy. Head over to CodeBlueCam.com. And check out our great selection of quality-made merch that won't we'll disappoint. disappoint.